The New Jersey Department of Transportation needs to perform work to replace a floor beam on the eastern end of the Pulaski Skyway on Route 1 and 9 in the Tunnelly Circle area. This requires the installation of temporary supports under the Skyway in two locations that will impact traffic. The supports will have a 10-foot height restriction and access to the Route 139 eastbound ramp will be affected. This work is scheduled to begin August 12th. While the contractor plans to implement the upcoming traffic pattern changes according to the specific dates mentioned in this video, it is important to note that the precise timing of the work is subject to change due to weather and other factors. The Skyway and Tunnelly Circle will be subjected to nighttime and weekend lane closures for approximately three weeks. The Skyway will also have single lane and midday closures. The temporary supports are scheduled to be installed at locations labeled A2 and A4 beginning Friday, August 16th. The following ramps will be affected. The ramp shown in red from Tunnelly Avenue to Route 139 eastbound, the lower roadway, to Holland Tunnel and Jersey City Waterfront will be closed. The routes in blue denote where height restrictions are being imposed. Ramp K shown in blue from Route 1 and 9 southbound to Route 139 eastbound, the lower roadway, will encounter a 10-foot height restriction at the A2 support. Vehicles heading to Route 139 eastbound from Route 1 and 9 truck northbound using ramps K and L, also shown in blue, will be affected by the temporary supports at A4 and A2. Because these supports impact traffic, the floor beam at location A2 needs to be replaced immediately. When that beam is replaced, then the support most impacting traffic will be removed. This image shows allowable vehicular movements through the work zone. Trucks taller than the height restriction will still be able to enter Tunnelly Circle, but will be prohibited from using ramps K and L and the lower roadway eastbound ramp. The work to replace the floor beam on the Skyway near the Tunnelly Circle is planned for Friday, August 23rd from 9 p.m. through Monday, August 26 at 5 a.m. During this time, a full closure of the Skyway is required. The work involves uncovering and removing a floor beam that traverses the width of the Skyway, then moving a new beam in place. The new concrete for the roadway deck will need some time to set before the roadway can be opened to traffic. Here, traveling from Route 1 and 9 truck northbound to Route 139 eastbound, the lower roadway, is a driver's perspective of where the supports are located and the height restrictions. Note the 10-foot height limit for all vehicles at the temporary supports. Trucks entering the circle from Route 1 and 9 truck northbound can continue around the circle to Route 1 and 9 northbound. If you are traveling north on Route 1 and 9, you will be required to exit onto Route 1 and 9 truck north the weekend the Skyway is closed. Traveling south on Route 1 and 9, vehicles under the 10-foot height restriction at location A2 may enter Route 139 eastbound, the lower roadway. For the expected three weeks of construction from August 16th through September 1st, trucks will be prohibited from entering Route 139 eastbound. When the Skyway is closed, vehicles traveling on Route 139 westbound coming from Jersey City or the Holland Tunnel will need to enter the Tunnelly Circle to take the southbound ramp to access the Skyway southbound. In the final weekend of construction, starting at midnight on Friday, August 30th, work will include removing the temporary support 
at location A2. By Sunday, September 1st, at 7 o'clock a.m., all the work should be completed. However, the temporary support at location A4 will remain in place with an 11-foot height restriction for approximately one year until the floor beams at this location are replaced. With A2 removed, trucks will be able to enter Route 139 eastbound, the lower roadway, from Tunnelly Avenue again. In total, the Department of Transportation expects to close the Skyway for 10 weekends over the next two years to complete all necessary floor beam replacements. The impacts to traffic will vary based on which beams are removed and this information will be publicized in advance of any necessary closures.